Hey guys, I think you noticed I'm like in a different location today and the reason for that is the room I usually film in is so flooded with sunlight right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's not even funny, it was just ridiculous. Like I, I could not film a video in there right now because it's just too bright and I don't have blinds in there, you know, like, well I have blinds but not enough to block out the sun enough. So I'm in my living room right now and that's like my front door there and that's my kitchen back there and my cat's uh, scratching post right there. So I'm on the floor right now and I think the lighting is pretty decent right here right now and there's my cat right there. Callie. Callie's gonna bug me because I'm on her floor. This is like her room. Like her, the living room is like her room. So I'm gonna have to share the room with her right now. But anyway guys, um, today I wanted to do an updated skincare routine because I haven't done skincare routine in a very very long time. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I think my last skincare video was probably um, two and a half years ago. <laughs> so a few things have changed. Um, I do still use uh, a lot of the same product, well not a lot, but a few of the same products. And um, come on, cooperate. Um, I used to use all philosophy. That was all I used was just philosophy. Um, but now I use some other products. So I just want to show you everything really quick. I don't want to make this a super long video. Um, my video has been way too long lately. So I'm going to make this really quick. I'm just going to show you what I use. And then if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment. Um, if you want a more um, in-depth kind of review on any of the products, just let me know. But basically I'm just going to show you what I use on a daily basis or a weekly basis because some of them I don't use every day. So I'm going to start off with what I use at night and usually at night is when I take a shower and um, I just usually do like my cleansing in the shower uh, but if I go out at night uh, usually I'll just wash my face in the sink which I don't like doing because I just don't feel like I get it as clean as when I'm in the shower but typically I shower at night and I will use um, my cleanser. And the cleanser I use has been the same for a really, really long time now. Probably over 10 years at least. I don't even know when I started using this. But this is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple. And this is the one I keep in the shower. This is a 4 ounce, but I have like the humongous size bottle um, that I just keep filling this one up because it's a good size for the shower. But this is just a really great gentle cleanser that pretty much works for any skin type. Um, Anybody I know that's tried this has liked it, so I love this cleanser. It's my absolute favorite, and I don't see myself ever changing. Um, and then the other two products that I keep in my shower, I don't use every day. I use pretty much just once a week, and they're both from MAC, and they were both from the Style Black collection a couple years back. And I still have the products, um, and they still work good. I just don't use them enough to like use up the whole thing. This one's getting kind of low. This is the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. You can see it's all the way down here now. But I typically use this once a week and this is just a nice exfoliator. Um, feels good on the skin. It's just it's a gentle scrub which I can't use like a really rough scrub because I have sensitive skin. So this is perfect for me. And then the other one is the Volcanic Ash Thermal Mask which I try to use once a week, but normally I end up only using it like once every other week or something. But I put this on while I'm in the shower, you just leave it on for like three to five minutes. And I typically put it on when I have conditioner in my hair because I leave the conditioner on for three to five minutes, so it's perfect. Um, and this actually feels like it heats up when you put it on, so it's kind of cool. But you can't get this right now. You might be able to find them at CCO, I don't know, but I really like these two products from MAC. Okay, and then after I get out of the shower, I use all kinds of products on my face before bed. So the first thing I use um, is the Miracle Worker. I think this is Miracle Worker. It's just worn off. It used to say Miracle Worker. Um, it's the Miracle Worker Miraculous Anti-Aging Retinoid Pads. And this right here got wiped off, and this got wiped off. It's just um, it's been in my bathroom for a while. It comes with 60 pads and the pads just look like that. 
Um, and when you get it, it comes with this with dry pads in it. Oops. And then you get a little bottle of this solution to dump in here. And after you dump it in, it's good to go. Um, and then I just use one of these every night. Uh, I put it all over my face, down my neck, and then on the back of my hands I use it. And this has the, um, the retinoid in it. Yeah, this has the retinoid in it, which is good for anti-aging. So I like those. And then the next thing I put on is the Miracle Worker Miraculous Anti-Aging Concentrate, which is kind of like a serum. And I originally got this to use over my whole face, but I found that when I used this, it made my face kind of oily and I didn't like how that made my skin feel. So right now I'm only using it on my neck because my neck doesn't get oily from it. So I'm using this on my neck and then on my face, I have a different serum now. And this is the Shiseido Bio Performance Super Corrective Serum comes in this shiny shiny container here it's really wasteful packaging I mean it's cute but I think the product's only like in this middle part here but it's a little pump and I use two pumps and just put it all over my face and it feels really nice and I've found that since I've been using it it kind of um, has helped fade like spots on my face like I have some freckles and it helped fade them which is really cool and it makes my skin look a little bit brighter too. So I love this. Okay, and then next, let's see. Next I typically put on this, and this is the Philosophy Hope in a Tube High Density Eye and Lip Firming Cream. And I only use this around my mouth. I used to use it around my eyes too, but I have a different eye cream now. So I just put this around my mouth just to um, help prevent fine lines from coming in around my mouth and this does a really nice job. I've been using this one a very long time too, probably at least five years, so I very much like this product. Okay, and then the eye cream I use now, I've been using this one for about a year and a half, maybe almost two years, and this is by Shiseido. This is the Benefiance, Bene, I don't know if that's how you say it, Benefiance uh, Concentrated Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. And this is like my fourth container of this. It lasts a long time. It lasts like six months or something. Um, I'm almost done with this one, but I already have a backup. And it's just a really thick eye cream. Um, I just put it underneath here. I go up a little bit on the eyelid, but not too much. Mostly I concentrate it under here and to the side. And it's just to help with the fine lines. And it does a good job of keeping my under eyes moisturized and feeling good and when I wake up in the morning it's like the skin is um, just really really you can tell it's hydrated which is nice and then I think yeah okay this is my face moisturizer that I use at night I won't be repurchasing this I already have a new one um, waiting to try out but this is the Shiseido Future Solution LX and it's a nighttime moisturizer it is super heavy. It's too heavy for what I need because my skin is combination um, and parts of it can lean towards the oily side like here and here um, around my nose and then sometimes my chin but my chin usually ends up getting dry. It's really weird so I have combination skin. Um, but this is really super heavy and it I don't really need it. That's why I'm not buying it again. This was very expensive. Um, totally was not worth the price for me but I can say that this has lasted nearly a year now. I'm finally to the bottom of it. I barely use any of this, guys. Barely any. I just touch it. I usually just put it like right here where it tends to get dry, here and then up here. And I just I take the tiniest amount and just kind of spread it out so that my face doesn't get too oily. Um, but I won't be repurchasing this. It's not that it's a bad product. It's probably better for somebody with dry skin, though. So. Uh, I'll be trying out a different Shiseido moisturizer after I'm done with this one. It's probably going to take me a few months to finish this off yet. Okay, and then um, one other thing I wanted to mention that I'll put on at night. If I get any pimples, sometimes I get some, not usually, but if I get some and I break out a little bit, I use this Clearasil Stay Clear Adult Tinted Treatment Cream. I've been using this for a long time too, probably about six years or so. And you just take a tiny amount of it, dab it on, and I sleep with it on, and then 
in the morning when I clean my face, it takes it off. And it really helps to dry up any pimples you might have. So I like this product a lot. Excuse me, a lot. My mouth's drying out, I need to drink water. Okay. And then in the morning, like I didn't used to do hardly anything in the morning, honestly. I don't wash my face in the morning because I don't find that I need to. Um, it doesn't get like super greasy overnight and it doesn't get dirty. I mean, I'm just sleeping, so I don't really cleanse my face in the morning, but I do use um, a pad in the morning on my skin and it just invigorates my skin and does clean off anything that might be there. Like if I use this, it cleans this off so that that's not laying on my skin all day. And this is the Philosophy Miracle Worker AM uh, Miraculous Anti-Aging Antioxidant Pads. This does not have the retinoid in it that the night one has. This one has retinoid. This one does not. Um, and this one is just so invigorating. It has like a vitamin C thing going on in it. And it just makes my skin have this really light, pleasant tingle when I put it on. That's what it looks like. And it has this big yellow sticker so that you can <laughs> differentiate between the two. Uh, the nighttime and the morning ones. So I used the, one of these and it's again just the same concept as the other one. Just the little pads. Just use one pad every morning. And then after I let that soak in or whatever for like five minutes then I will go back to my Shiseido Bio Performance Super Corrective Serum and I put this on in the morning too. Um, you're supposed to use it morning and night and I enjoy using it twice a day. I think it, it's really good for my skin. So I use it in the morning too. And then I also reuse my Shiseido Benefiance Concentrated Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. I put a very, very tiny amount in the morning. At night I pack it on a little more. In the morning I just use a really thin coat of it just under my eye, like where the fine lines um, tend to be. And I just put that on. And that's all I do in the morning for my skincare. Um, yeah, I really don't use, like, uh, I don't have a Clarisonic or anything like that. I tried using the Neutrogena Wave once, and it was nice, but I just didn't use it. Like, it's still sitting in my closet in my bathroom. So I've only used that a few times, and I just, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just too lazy to go that final step to use, like, a, you know, some kind of brush or uh, extra cleansing system. So maybe I'll get there someday, but right now I don't use anything like that, and my skin's pretty good. I mean, I can't really complain too much. Um, and I don't get facials. I've never had a facial in my life. I'd like to, but I haven't done that yet. I don't get anything done in a salon or anything like that to my skin. So that's pretty much all I use. And uh, yeah, so this was fairly quick uh, <laughs> compared to my recent videos. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, and like I said, if you have any questions about any of these products, let me know. If you want a review of any of them, just let me know, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Bye!